This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Today's Bible reading is taken from the book of Matthew chapter 18. And we'll start from verse 15 and we will take it up to verse 35. Matthew chapter 18 from verse 15 to 35 and I read in Jesus name. If your brother sins against you and if your brother sins against you, go and rebuke him in private. If he listens to you, you have won your brother. But if he won't listen, take one or two others with you, so that by the testimony of two or three witnesses, every fact may be established. If he doesn't pay attention to them, tell the church. If he doesn't pay attention even to the church, let him be like a Gentile and a tax collector to you. Truly, I tell you, Whatever you bind on earth will have been bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth will have been loosed in heaven. Again, truly I tell you, if two of you on earth agree on any matter that you pray for, it will be done for you by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there among them. Then Peter approached him and asked, Lord, How many times should I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? As many as seven times? I tell you, not as many as seven, Jesus replied, but seventy times seven. For this reason, the kingdom of heaven can be compared to a king who wanted to settle accounts with his servants. When he began to settle accounts, one who owed ten thousand talents was brought before him. Since he did not have the money to pay it back, his master commanded that he, his wife, his children, and everything he had be sold to pay the debt. At this, the servant fell down, face down, before him and said, Be patient with me, and I will pay you everything. Then the master of that servant had compassion, released him, and forgave him the loan. That servant went out and found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred denarii. He grabbed him, started choking him, and said, Pay what you owe. At this, his fellow servant fell down and began begging him, Be patient with me and I will pay you back. But he wasn't listening. Instead, he went and threw him into prison until he could pay what was owed. When the other other servants saw what had taken place, they were deeply distressed and went to report to their master everything that had happened. Then after he had summoned him, his master said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you all that debt because you begged me. Shouldn't you also have had mercy on your fellow servants as I had mercy on you? And because he was angry, his master handed him over to the jailers to be tortured until he could pay everything that was owed. So also my heavenly father will do to you unless every one of you forgives his brother or sister from your heart. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Our dear heavenly father, our Lord and our God, we thank you, O God, for your word this morning. We thank you because the entrance of your word always brings light, gives life and understanding. For this reason, Father, we ask, O Lord, that you speak expressly to us in the name of Jesus Christ. Help us, O God, to understand what you're saying to us this morning. Open our hearts to receive your word, O Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Sweet Holy Spirit, I pray that you use me, O God. Make my mouth like the pen of a ready writer. In Jesus' name, help me to speak only that which I hear from you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. All right. So that's a very interesting um, Bible passage we just read. Um, So interestingly, um, the the disciples always ask Jesus questions. And, you know, I always love the way Jesus answered the questions. He never really answered directly. He would always illustrate or tell you a parable or something. And that was, you know, um, what we just read. So now um, they asked him, he was teaching about um, forgiveness, forgiveness, 
forgiveness. Praise God. So um, he says, if your brother sins against you, rebuke him. You know, uh, we had started reading um, this chapter um, this week. We had talked about where the Bible says uh, in previous verses in this same chapter, the Bible says that offenses will surely come, but woe to him through which the offense would come. So, I mean, uh, as long as we're here on earth, you will be offended. People will offend you. People will step on your toes and all of that stuff. So, but as a child of God, as a Christian, um, our position, our duty is to forgive. Okay. And that's what we're talking about today. Forgiveness. So it says, um, if your brother sins against you, rebuke him in private. If he doesn't listen to you, take two people and go there, you know, and, um, you know, try to settle the matter. If he doesn't listen to you, take the matter to the church. If you don't, I mean, take the steps really. If he still doesn't listen to you, then that's, you've done your bit really. There's not, there's not much you can do anymore. You have done your part. So I was also talking about um, expectations in the last um, episode. You know, as a child of God, we have God has expectations of us. So this is our God's expectation of us. Um, God doesn't want us to bear grudge and just live in hatred and malice. You know, that's not the spirit of God. His purpose, his plan, his his um, thought for us, his expectation of us is that we forgive even as he forgives us. Can you imagine how many times we offend God? Like how many times, even sometimes not even knowing that we're actually doing that, how many times we sin against God, yet he forgives us all the time. He forgives us all the time and he still loves us. Praise the Lord. And that's a love that he expects us to show to our brothers and our sisters and mind you when the bible talks about brothers and sisters it's not necessarily talking about your biological brothers and sisters it's also talking about christians around you people around you non-christians everybody around you, your neighbor everybody that you see love and forgive praise god and so peter asked and said so how many times should i forgive my brother or my sister who sins against me you know as much as seven times and Jesus said, no, seven times is not even enough. Seventy times seven in one day. Seventy times seven times in one day. Can you imagine that? Can you do the math? That's a, that's a huge number in one day. And so, you know, typically you wouldn't expect your brother or your sister to offend you like that much, you know. So literally what he's saying is, you know, forgive just forgive there's no need counting if you can count it then keep it up you know but i don't expect that someone would offend you like that much time in one day so what he's saying is forgive as many times as many times as possible forgive let forgiveness be your let it be your um let it be your trademark let it be who you are praise god and then he gave a parable about the servant who owed his master. And when the master asked for him to pay back, he said he didn't have and he begged the master and the master forgave him and let him go. Yet, there was another servant who owed that servant some money. And he that was shown forgiveness and mercy couldn't replicate to the other servant, the fellow servant. Praise the Lord. Can you, can you see how wicked we can be as human beings? And so when the master heard that the, the one who, had, who was shown forgiveness could not show, did not show forgiveness to a fellow servant, he called, you know, for him to be thrown in jail until he paid everything. Praise the Lord. And then he didn't stop there. He also said that so also my heavenly father will do to you unless every one of you forgives his brother or sister. So he's saying here, forgive so that you will be forgiven. It's very simple. If you don't forgive, don't expect for your sins to be forgiven. There are some things that we do or there's some things that we're going through in life that is a direct consequence of our actions. There's some things that we're going through in life that's a direct consequence of the things that we have done or chosen not to do. Praise God. So sometimes it's not even the prayer. 
It's not even the prayer. It's just your action or your inactions that is causing the pain, that is causing the delay, that is causing the setback or whatever it is you're going through. So search deep within. Search within your heart. And you know that a heart that doesn't forgive cannot worship. If you bear grudge in your heart, you cannot worship. You can't worship. It's not going nowhere. You can't even pray. Like real true prayer. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Because listen, and what one thing I've learned, one thing I've learned is when Jesus says something, listen to every single word. Grabs every single word. Don't just take like one line and leave the rest. Every single word matters. There's a there's it makes each word has its own meaning. Each word means something. And this is why I said so. He said, same um, verse 35. So also my heavenly father will do to you unless every one of you forgives his brother or sister. Now it's easy. It's very easy to stop there. But no, he didn't stop there. He said, from your heart. Unless you forgive your brother or your sister from your heart. Not just lip service, not just saying, oh, I forgive you. And then you don't do the you don't you don't take the steps that is necessary to show that you have truly forgiven this person. It has to be from your heart, not just lip service. I forgive you. I forgive you. I set you free from my heart. I bear no grudge against you. Forgive your brother, forgive your sister from your heart. When we read the Bible, I want to encourage us to read every word every word of it taking every word don't just pick and choose and stop halfway for you to benefit from the word of god and to really apply it to the fullest you have to take every word so christ says forgive from your heart so this message today is very direct it really doesn't need so much um preaching really so the message is to forgive Search your heart. Search your heart. I've had times when um, I've had difficulties and I just cannot pinpoint where, you know, why and where it's coming from, you know. But then the Holy Spirit reminds me or something happens and I remember that maybe I have an issue that I haven't sorted with someone else or something, you know. And then I just have to go forgive, just clear that space, clear that air. Don't let anyone live rent free in your head, like would say these days. You know, life is too precious to let anyone or anything, you know, just live in your heart. To stay in your heart, to hold you back from living life to its full potential. What am I saying this morning? Search your heart. Even if everything is going well for you and just not no setback and nothing, no, you know, it doesn't have to be that because you're doing well, you know, um, you're not holding any grudge or anything. Just search your heart just because you want your relationship with God to be clean and upright. The Bible says, who ascends, who will ascend onto the hill? He who has clean hands and a clean heart. Make sure that your hands are clean all the time. How can we ensure ensure this? Even when you're not aware that you have sinned, ask for forgiveness in any area that I might have sinned against you, Lord. That is my everyday prayer. In any way that I have sinned against you or I might have knowingly or unknowingly, please have mercy on me. And when, when, and then when God has showed you mercy, Replicate that to your brothers and your sisters, your neighbors, the people around you, your community. Show love. Forgive. Do not be quick to condemn people. For God has not condemned you. Do not be quick to condemn people. This is the message of Christ. Love. Forgiveness. As simple as it it sounds, It's really difficult. It can be difficult if Christ has not really been rooted in your heart. 
if you have not given your life to Christ, it can be really difficult to forgive and let go or to love someone who hurts you. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And so this morning, I want to encourage you, even after this podcast, you know, find time to just search your heart. Where are you bearing any grudge against anybody? Your mom, your dad, your sisters, your brothers, your neighbor, anybody, your colleague at work. Search your heart. Search your heart. For God is love. That's who he is. That's who he is. God is love. He loves us in spite of ourselves, in spite of our shortcomings. And he expects us to do the same. God is love. God is merciful. It is only by his mercy that we are still standing today. It is only by his mercy that you're listening to this podcast. It is not a coincidence, trust me. It is not a coincidence. The Bible says that he orders the steps of the righteous. God has ordered your steps to listen to this podcast today. When I come on the podcast here, I don't have a message. I'm not, I don't have anything planned to say. I rely on the Holy Spirit. I study the word. We read the word together. And the Holy Spirit just puts his word in my mouth. So I'm not, I didn't um, carve any, I didn't, you know, like carve anything out or prepare to say, I'm going to say this to soothe you. No, this is just the Holy Spirit speaking directly. And that's one unique thing about the podcast. And that's how God put it in my heart to read the word straight from the Bible, undiluted. And so whatever I speak is the Holy Spirit speaking through me. Praise the name of the Lord. And a lot of times when I speak, I'm also speaking to myself because I'm human as well. And so I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you. Please listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit that is speaking to you right now. To forgive, to love, to forgive. If you have to make a phone call today to say, hey, you hurt me real bad, but I forgive you. Please do that. Please do that. For God is love and he expects you to replicate that love to everyone around you. And God bless you as you obey the voice of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, our Lord and our God, I want to thank you for the opportunity to preach your word to your people today. As I have spoken, O God, Father, I ask that you melt every heart of stone, O God, and give your children the spirit of obedience to obey your word, to go out and forgive and show love to the world. Thank you, God. Thank you for making us representatives of Christ. May we not let you down. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for answered prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. All right, child of God, go out there and show the world what it means to be Christ-like. God bless you. Shalom.